Good morning guys, this is Miri. I'm here in the morning of Frankfurt in Germany and maybe the only one who has the idea to well not the only one um, to to go and exercise with my race bike but the only one to yeah to to uh, combine it with um, foraging to go for berries and plums because this my friends is a plum tree and I just love to get the best food that I can for free <laughs> and it's all organic and it's wonderful and it's so relaxing to actually to actually do it um, and I just love to get up early and then like in the dust of the morning to <laughs> to just you know not think about anything which has to be done during the day but just to relax and to move the body and you know just it's kind of like meditating but I personally personally I do not meditate but I love thinking about things that are good and that help me become a better self of myself and I just love doing things that 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 do me good and that that do others good yeah and I just wanted to talk so this is um, my bag I know it's plastic but couldn't get any um, any containers because I do not have a backpack with me so here you see oh I don't even know what it's in English <laughs> uh, it's some berries Blueberries? No, it's not blueberries. Uh, I'll write it down. And these are plums. And I just want to encourage you to, um, to have a look in your region if you find fruit trees. Because that is the best food you can ever get, right? And it's for free. And it's organic. And it's, it just tastes so much better than the stuff you buy. Um, I just quickly wanted to address a topic about, yeah, which is um, orthorexia. Because I've been thinking about it while I was foraging. And, um, you know, there's a highway going along here, and you can, I think you can hear it as well, <laughs> quite well. Um, the thing is that there are people that wouldn't. Um, take the berries and eat them uh, and collect the berries and stuff because there's a highway and it produces smog and all of the toxic smog thingies go into the plants and the trees and the berries obviously um, and I know that I don't like that either but I think that is something that we cannot avoid in this modern world um, because everything is like you know you can decide you do not drive a car or <laughs> but but you cannot decide for other people that they don't drive a car so I think we just have to accept accept that there are cars and that there is smog and we we can do our part, but we cannot change the whole thing, at least not from like overnight. So, um, of course, you, you can spend the dollars in the right direction. You can spend the dollars so that this thing gets changed, but you can't like you can't change the whole thing overnight. So I think you agree with me here. Um, and what I was thinking is, should that hinder us from getting the best food ever? Should that hinder us from picking this awesome fruit? Um, this is just an example. And I think no. No way. Because, um, yeah, I just think, um, you know, life, life is not here to be stressed. Life is not here that you stress yourself about little things. I think it's important to to be serious about the 
really important essential things like um, like the overall diet, the overall lifestyle you live. And it's important that the most that the most of your diet comes from fresh fruits and vegetables and maybe some cooked starches. Um, but you know I think the smaller things like um, the smaller things like like this of course it's also a, a, a big thing but I, I think you know what I mean when I say it is not as important than, as the, the the main things you do um, all day, all week, the whole month, the whole year like the, the, the average you do so um, I think it is really important to not stress about the smaller things like like for example the smog and the, like the pollution of the environment um, and also like the plastic um, issue I hate that there's always plastic around that there are some things you actually can't even buy without plastic and um, for those who don't know of you plastic cont um, yeah, contains a lot of like a lot of toxic stuff for example fake estrogens that yeah that <laughs> wreck up our hormones and uh, well I do not get into this too deep now um, but the thing is that yeah you, you can avoid them to a certain extent but you can't avoid them like completely and that's the thing and well I think, like for my part, in my opinion, it is healthier and better, yeah, really like healthier for you, your body, your soul and your mind to not stress out about the unideal things, like about the things that you cannot have complete control over, because there, there's always going to be things that you cannot control and I think these two examples are, are, are two good examples for uh, think about what is really important what is really important um, and I think that is the like yeah like the diet and the lifestyle in, in whole and then do not stress about the smaller things also for example like if you have a bit more oil or fat because you you cannot control what you eat like you do not have to drink the oil if someone <laughs> offers you that but for example if someone makes you a salad and makes it vegan for you because you because he or she knows you're vegan and then puts a little bit of oil in the salad you do not have to eat the whole salad but still you can eat a bit of it like it won't kill you <laughs> um, even if it's not ideal I think there's a lot of things you like it's just so many things are just in your mind that like you actually make them bigger in your mind than they are and I think it's important for everyone to find out which things is for you um, so these examples that I just brought may not be the examples that you have an issue with. But think about what you stress out in, in your everyday life. What you stress out about and yeah, I think I think that can like take us away from really unhealthy thinking. Like neg negative thinking. Oh no I can't, no I shouldn't, oh no I mustn't, oh and that's unhealthy and I think that is unhealthy when you think such things. You know, it's a part of our of of our health as well. A big part, a great part. So um, yeah, think about it. I, I did myself, and I found that I have to relax a lot more. <laughs> and maybe I could help you with these thoughts. So you have to think about it. Because um, when you when you don't when you don't pay attention, like. So many people, when they come to that lifestyle first, they actually overdo it in thinking. 
So they, they overthink, overthink about, oh, what can I have, what can I not have, and yeah, and that's important, but I think at some stage there has to be a line, a limit. You, at some stage you should be enjoying the lifestyle, you should be enjoying the life, you should be happy, you should be easy going, you should be relaxed, relaxed as. Um, and I think you cannot be that when you stress and overthink. So, um, just filter out your, filter out the most important things and do what you can. Like, that is my main tip. Do what you can. But if you cannot do something in a certain moment, like, never mind. Okay? Um, you do not have to do anything, but you can do everything. And, um, like, I think just in a certain moment when you have issues with, oh no, I don't want to eat that, really ask you, do you not want to eat it? Really, like, from your heart? Or, or do you, th or is your mind making it bigger than it really is? Like, for example, when you have the oil, a little bit of oil, you know, a little bit of fat, it won't kill you. It's like you would eat a durian that has more fat in it as well. Um, so I know it's not like the oil is extracted, but if you eat it, when you eat it with vegetables and, and rice and I don't know, so you yourself would never add it to your meal. But what if you, what if you are in the restaurant and you say no oil but then for example they didn't understand and they put oil on it and you know it's up to you um, but in the end if there's like a tiny little bit it it's not bad for your body it's like you would eat as if you ate nuts or or durian or whatever so um, as long as it doesn't become your daily routine oh. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I'm just repeating myself so uh, it's the things that you do every minute every hour every day every week every month like under the line under the bottom line so on that yeah I think that's very important to actually not slide into orthorexia because that is what I'm talking about um, orthorexia is when you stress out about about your diet and your lifestyle if you want to if it becomes stress and like if you a force of yourself to have to eat healthy and be as healthy as you can and and it and it is healthy and natural to actually to want to be as healthy as you can don't get me wrong but it's not healthy to stress yourself about it like the whole time you should relax about it so um, yeah that's my thought my idea maybe you look into yourself and Maybe you want to look into yourself and find out if there's things that you could relax about a bit more. Hope that helped. See ya.